Alrighty, let's get started here. Mitzi Mueller has lived for one month, 16 days, one hour. Killed 1,971 zombies. Quite a few. Picking up here pretty much right after our last episode, just in the morning. Uh, and a day later, I let Mitzi kind of, you know, stay home for a day, relax, get things in order. Uh, but now it's the next day and it's time to go out, even though it's, you know, a little bit, a little bit late. You may notice we're wearing some new clothes. Yesterday, or last episode, when we tripped in the country club, it tore up her shell suit trousers, unfortunately. But we had other ones and a jacket to match. There was also a hole in her jacket. So now we are back to our full regular gear. I had to put the motorcycle helmet back on because it was too cold for uh, the golf hat, unfortunately. So I put that there. I'm going to take it with us. First, let's make sure I got food. Yep, I totally do. So we can put this on once we get inside. But for now, the motorcycle helmet is what's needed to keep Mitzi's head warm. I'm going to drive over there today just to save a little bit of time. I have all my weapons, right? Two crowbars, an axe, hunting knife, extra hunting knife. Okay. I noticed there's a bit of a debate going on on the Reddit. On uh, the best weapon, the, the axe is better, the crowbar is better. And I have an opinion on this matter. My opinion is, the best weapon is whatever fucking weapon you can find to save your life. Because <laughs> I play on extremely rare loot. And uh, you may notice, with stone axe, <laughs> you gotta make do with what you got. That's my thoughts on the matter. Let's start driving over there. I could pull this wreck out of the road. I might have to pull this wreck out of the road. <laughs> oh, man. It's a good thing this is the crap car that I'm going to swap out soon. Or am I? I might just give it a new hood. I think the engine's better on this car than the other cars. But, you know, we got enough gas. We're not going far. We can save a little bit of time just driving. A little bit of time. Save Mitzi's legs. Having to walk so much constantly. Although, you know, it is the apocalypse. You gotta walk a lot. But let's head back over to the country club here and see if we can finish clearing the place out. So that we can start trying to clean it up and maybe move there. We'll see. Alright, well, we have our first contestants for the day. Crowbar out. One of them's a copper. Die pig. There we go. Nice and easy. Like, did she just get a double kill there? One hit? I don't have multi-hit enabled. <laughs> Alright, let's get walking. It's looking pretty clear out here for now. I mean, obviously, I've killed many of them. I think the back half of the building's gonna be pretty crowded, though. We gotta get around to there. What's our long blunt doing anyway? It's leveling up quite effectively. 181 out of 300. Let's see if we can get these zombies to come around to us. It should be coming out this window. Yeah. Okay, anything good, copper? No. that other one get caught on a door? I must have. Oh no, they're breaking the windows! Come on, guys! 
Don't gotta be doing that. There's just no reason for that. What do you even fix a crowbar with? You don't fix a crowbar with. Right. That's why we got three. Just get this out of your backpack. Any kind of reasonable amount of time, Mitzi, that would be great. Thank you. She must have had it down at the bottom of the bag. Didn't take Dextrous, which I think I always take in multiplayer. I am kind of missing it. I might start taking it in single player, too. Let's transfer items faster. It can actually come in handy in situations where, like, you have to loot fast and leave because you're about to get eaten. Like, it definitely came up with Mitzi in the very first part of the, like, the very start of this game. Trying to grab clothes off of a zombie before they eat you. Yeah, I was going to try to reduce having the amount of blood in here. I think it's just not going to work, though. Maybe we'll just fight them in, like, certain areas. Like, over here is like, the zombie fighting area. And we'll clean it up later. Hey, come on, man. Stop fucking up the squash court. What are you doing? No reason for that. It's just rude. Rude, man. You know, that's why you're the help. Because you got no class. Wrecking up the squash court windows. Oh, there's two of them here. No problem for Mitzi, that's for sure. Yeah, I already have a bunch of keys to this joint here. One. Speaking of, I wonder if I can rename them. Yeah. This is actually... The Country Club Key. I wonder if you could use keys if they're in a bag. I, mean, I would assume. I think your key ring's just another kind of bag. Hmm. Come on, buddy. Over to the zombie fighting area so you don't mess up this place. Let's make it a little bit easier to haul them all out of here, too. That's gonna be fun. Sarcasm. It's not gonna be fun at all. Uh, there's a hole in these ones. I thought I heard a zombie coming. Hey, buddy. I have some crowbar. All this blood here? That wasn't me. <laughs> Why is there all this blood here? Unless it, like, came down from the second floor? I don't know. That's creepy. We'll just add to it. Yeah. <sighs> Bathroom zombies. I hate bathroom zombies. This is terrible. It's the worst. Alright, let's get the knife out. I think they're in these stalls. No. Am 
must be in this bathroom. And yes, I'm aware that you can open and close doors very quickly. To try to protect yourself from the zombies. I do not do that. Seems cheap. Too gamey, you know. Gold bangle. And I think Mitzi might, uh... She might turn to magpie mode one of these days here and start picking up jewelry and collecting it. It's just something satisfying about having a big pile of gold, you know? Maybe I'm just a dwarf or something. Yeah, I think this is the hallway leading upstairs where we killed them all. We're gonna check that from a different place or a different angle. Let's look in the kitchen. Carefully. Yeah, again, I didn't get that blood there. I should have really brought this lady back to the zombie fighting spot. Oh well. Looks like there's a bunch of them in there, or out there, and you can just break through. Another broken window. Man, I'm trying not to break the windows, zombies. Making such a mess. Alright, new zombie fighting area, right here. I should go outside if I want them to stop breaking the windows. So I think that's exactly what we'll do. This door's broken, so. Parking lot. A few cars in it. There's a van that looks like it might be good. Looks like we got the whole parking lot to fight in. Probably gonna need it. Oh, where's my beta blockers? There they are. Get some more water out, too. Man, this is going downhill. Let's get the axe out, too. Slowly, must be at the bottom of the bag. All right, let's do this thing. That was close. Already? Let's see why. I didn't wake up that early. Why oh, you gotta do this to me, Mitzi? Maybe it's just all the axe swinging. We are getting a little tired. Maybe we could chill in a car. Chilling in a car is not as fast as sitting on a chair, which there's probably chairs in here. So let's do that. Give me a chair. There's a chair. Take a breather. Ah. Tired already. Mm. Maybe we should go look upstairs. Now we'll take. Do I have any vitamins? I wonder. I do have some vitamins? Yeah, we we got plenty of vitamins actually. 
pound some of those until the drowsiness goes away. To have some soup too. This is the oldest soup, so I'll have that. Got fresh soups here. 40 hunger each. Right, let's organize our backpack here a little bit too. Right, chugging vitamins. There we go. Take a few more just for a good measure. Since I don't really have any plans for any uh, big clearing projects in the near future, I'm just going to use the axe on these guys. It's running out of durability. But it is nice while it lasts. Very nice. Yeah, I think with level 6 now we start one-shotting a whole lot more, as you probably noticed. So level 6 is the first of the super hard skills to get. See a whole big group over here. Let's see if we can get a few of them. But not all of them. What's the axe doing anyway? Pretty good actually. Lady was wearing another fanny pack. I wonder if they ever spawn with anything in the fanny packs. Like a credit card or something. That'd be funny. No. Immersive. Realistic. You know what I mean. Save a little bit of durability here. Another Louisville map. You think this will be the one? We're not going to read it with this zombie coming. I think I saw a cop in there. With a bulletproof vest. So maybe we'll get a new one of those. I could be wrong though. I might have to move these guys away from the building. It's not that one. Oh, this is the guy I thought was a cop. He's not a cop. Let's get a little bit of long, born, long blunt practice here. this out. Take another vitamin just to stay on top of things. Get the axe back out. Let's keep going. I may have to move these guys away from the building. I think the apartments are up there. I don't know if you can get corpses from outside. Like if you're inside and corpses are outside. How's this lady's Hawaiian shirt doing? Not very great. If I find a needle, I'll level, or try to level Mitzi. Look at this guy, he is ready for the pool. This zombie. He's even got sandals on. This guy's got leather gloves. Perfect condition leather gloves, too. Yeah. 
I'll take the flip flops. I think I need flip flops. Well, I don't. I have another pair, but I like the color of these ones better. And that is very important. Hey, get away from that window. Not allowed. I want to be able to eat in the dining room in peace without raccoons coming in. Let's see if we can sit. No. We can stay here and rest. Like, stand here and rest while they come. Totally works. Get our stamina back. See? Tricky. Let's try to rest here. We might be able to get this place clear enough to sleep inside. We'll see about if there's too many corpses around, though. So you don't want to go to sleep around a ton of corpses. It's a good way to die of a fever. Let's take some preemptive vitamins. Keep going here. Got a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> Looking for an intact Hawaiian shirt here. No. Just because you can wear it as another layer under your clothing. Oh, our sneakers are broken. Yeah, look at that. How did that happen? It must have happened just now. Well, we'll put these shoes on until we can find more. Ah, aviator glasses. We were looking for those. Yeah, these sneakers. They'll do. Wow, oh, that's crazy. I've never had sneakers break on me before. Guess I've just been stomping that much. It's starting to get dark. We may want to head inside with the flashlight soon. I hear zombies. Yep, banging on that door. It's fine. Oh, there's two of them. Should I fight them? Really shouldn't. Get the knife out. No, it's locked anyway. So we won't fight them. It's just one zombie wandering around out here. Oh, no, there's two. Thought I heard one coming up behind. Jesus. Short blade is so powerful. And we got a level there, which is awesome. I think that is just level one, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. 
Alright, let's try to head inside. Looks like they broke out. But we've you know gone around the entire perimeter now. It's another reason to use the knife when you're tired is uh, the execute doesn't care about how tired you are. If you can do it. So that's the real trick, if you can do it. One guy in here. Some fancy white pants. Just will not do it for them, okay? Do it the hard way, Mitzi. Stabbing a million times. But maybe we'll be able to spend the day here and then we can get an early start in the morning. Be pretty clear in here by now. Let's take our original route from yesterday. Oh, out of battery. Is there a whole group out here? Looks like it. Uh, how many? Three? What if we use the gun? What would that be like? Basically, you have to use it like a melee weapon. That should get... Sounds like a bunch of bathroom zombies in there. That should bring some that may be hiding in the trees in the area out. But there were not any, so that's great. We can take care of those bathroom zombies out by the pool in the morning. I leave this one out here. Just will not execute. Maybe tiredness does matter. That I'm just a fool. Alright, let's head upstairs. It's already 10 o'clock at night. I mean, it's looking and sounding pretty clear. Over here is where the apartments are. I don't know if these corpses will be too close. Or the, the mistress rooms, hotel rooms. Can bang your mistress without your wife knowing. It's a rich people thing. Yeah. I mean, this one's farther away from the zombies over there, but it's closer to the ones on the ground out there. Or the corpses, that is.
Alright, we should go out and look for that one zombie that we're hearing. If we can find him before midnight, great. If not, we'll come back up here and just sleep here. But I think we're doing okay. We'll sleep in this one. Because then it'll be the same distance from both <laughs> piles of zombies. Alright, what is our alarm set for? What do we get? 6.20. Let's let Mitzi sleep in a little bit more. There we go. Alright, catch you guys in the morning. Ooh, waking up next morning to our alarm. Perfect. Let's have some soup. I think this is more beans and beans and bean soup. There's not really anything in these places. It's really just like a bedroom, which you know, is all you really need for banging your mistress anyway. Let's just have the rest of the soup because it's probably going to go bad soon. Okay, let's get the crowbar. We can put the axe away. I don't need that anymore. All right, let's start taking a look around, seeing if there's anybody left in the building. Try to clear around the outside too, and start making this place safe to live. I think we've done pretty well with the zombies so far. But we just gotta, you know, poke around in every nook and cranny, make sure there's no Bathroom zombies. Hey, nails. That's the first time I found nails. Nice. This could be the crafting supply closet. We got a cafe over here. Some rotten donuts. Some rotten pies. I thought pie slices didn't go bad. Oh, well. There's bleach in here, so we can clean up some of the blood, too, which is nice. We have a mop back at the other house. I can hear them. Is that bathroom zombies? I think it's bathroom zombies. Surprising. Knew it. Every time, man. Let's grab this corpse out of here. So we know to bring it out later. Oh, look, more is that bathroom zombies. Shotgun. Bathrooms in this game are just fucking deadly. There's more blood I'm gonna have to clean up. Damn. What were they doing in that stall together? I guess hiding from zombies unsuccessfully. Is what they were doing. Alright, the squash courts are intact, which is really great. Because <laughs> I'm going to play so much squash as Mitzi. A storage room. Maybe this will be my storage room. More bleach, we're going to need it. We're going to need all of this bleach. The amount of mess we made of this place. I mean, maybe we won't need all this bleach. There's a lot of bleach here. <laughs> yeah, laundry room, huh? Let's 
a look in here. It's like an ice cream stand or something. Pool snacks. Could make this our kitchen, but I think we're going to use the actual kitchen. Kitchen. Um, just doing a quick once over here. More bleach. Going to need it. Just kind of see what we got. I mean, this place is not worth coming to for the loot. The loot sucks. It's not really great at all. But it is a nice place to live. Real classy joint. And there's a rain barrel in here that we can get set up. That'd be good. Assuming we don't break it. I think there's a chance that we'll break it when we try to pick it up. That would be very sad. Very sad. Uh, I guess that's a window. A 60% chance to break. Oh, man. What's our carpentry? Two? Guess we gotta learn more carpentry before we try to pick it up. Where'd you come from? This place was totally clear. Sixty percent. It's rough, man. It's rough. Thought I was gonna be so smart. I mean, we could just use the pool, for being honest. But just having a sink that you can just get your water from. I like that a lot better. You don't have to boil it. Let's find these bathroom zombies. Absolutely nothing in these lockers. I do not like this at all. What if there's two or three in there? We're gonna open and run. Open the door, let's see. Oof, back to the wall, stabbing away, stabbing, stabbing, stabbing. I mean, there's a lot of water in here. Even without the pool, just from like the sinks and stuff. Speaking of, let's get some. on the back is where my pills are, right? Yep. Yeah, I like to use the knife for these close quarters kind of deals. Fast swing speed, short range. And you can do this. If you will. No. You could also execute. Yeah. I mean, she's raising her hand like she can, but she just won't. Maybe my short blade's just not high enough, and that's why. Absolutely nothing in these lockers, too. This place is a bust. Total bust. Only good for the water and the short blade XP. Alright, well, let's keep poking around the main building here. Make sure the place is clear. And I think it'll just be time to start piling corpses. Get them all out of the building. Clean up the blood. It'll take a while. 
That'll be good. It'll give Mitzi something to do over the winter. There's more locker rooms back here. I mean, usually lockers are pretty good for loot. But these ones have just been nothing. Nothing piled on nothing. Like, not one thing. Usually there's something. Crazy. But, you know, like I said, we didn't come here for the loot. We came here for the living accommodations. Yeah, the entire... This must be bugged or something. Every single locker is empty. But lots of storage. You could use that for, like, I don't know, clothing storage, maybe? I have to start figuring out where I want to put things, you know? We'll have the kitchen, we'll have the crafting supply storage, we'll have the weapon armory, guns and melee. At least there's something. I was getting a little worried that every container in here was going to be empty. Anything good around here? Bar in here, though. I mean, this will obviously be the library where we could hang out and read books. Which I already looked at the books, right? Yeah. I did not look at the bar. What do we got? bit of food. <laughs> I guess these bar containers are actually library containers. Okay. I mean, I don't mind. I could have gotten how to use generators out of there. Did not, of course. Oh, and there's a fireplace in here that we could cook in if I don't find how to use generators. <laughs> it's just looking like that's going to be what happens. Right, and we've circled back around. Very nice. Yeah, that's everything. Pretty good. Alright, well, I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day and probably the next few days stacking corpses and cleaning blood and trying to clear the area. So, I don't think you guys really need to be too involved in that, you know, it's not exactly riveting material. Yeah, Mitzi Mueller, gotten over 2,000 zombie kills now. So yeah, we'll end here, and I'll catch you guys next time for another episode of the CDDA Challenge. Peace.